Hello React Native Developers, I hope you are well. William here recording from beautiful Zurich, Switzerland. This is an example we've built a couple of weeks ago. There was a question on Reddit, how to build such a simple animation. And some a subscriber of the show asked a really interesting question. He asked, can we loop such animation function? And in Redash, we ship a loop function that enables you to, to loop uh, animation values. You can do a couple of very interesting things with it and I would like to show it to you now. So here, instead of uh, using a run timing function, I'm gonna use the loop function from Redash and I'm gonna use the same duration and easing value. The loop uh, function loops an animation value from zero to one and then back from zero to one. So you see why you see this reset once the animation is reached. And if you want, you can use a boomerang effect if you want to go from zero to one and then back from one to zero. So here I can set boomerang to true. So now it goes from one to zero, oh, zero to one and back from one to zero. Very nice. And we can give the clock as parameter and we can pass the clock as parameter in order to to make it interrupt interruptible. So here we had like an on press with an expanded uh, state to say, okay, it needs to, to start to expand or to minimize the animation. And we're gonna use, we're gonna use it to play or pause the animation. So I can pass the clock as parameter here. Nothing happens because the loop function takes the clock, starts the animation. And now we can say auto start to false. So now it doesn't animate anymore. And the reason it doesn't animate anymore is because we want to be in control of uh, starting and stopping the animation. So now we here, so I'm gonna create an animation value. So here we have a state, we're gonna change it. We're gonna use, instead of expanded, we're gonna use this state to say, should the animation play or should it stop? So I have play, set play. And I need to also keep this state in an animation value. So I can create an animation value called is playing. And the default is zero. This one I can set to zero by default. And here, so play set play. We toggle the play value. and we need to update the animation value as well. So I'm gonna use is playing set value. If play is true, we set it to zero. If play is false, we set it to one. And so I can remove this dependency here. I need so when the state is changing here, we need to preserve these animation values. So I'm gonna use use memo one in order to do so. If you are using reanimated and React Native hooks, you need to use this package, use memo one. Uh, it's absolutely critical in order to store your animation values in a way that is um, semantically correct. So I have is playing animation and the clock no uh, oh, so it's a callback sorry about that and no dependencies so this looks good now nothing that of course should happen now let me create a block so I have this instruction here and let's add two instructions, one uh, to start the animation, one to pause it. So if the uh, clock is not running, so not clock running clock. And um, is playing. We need to start the clock. Let's have a look. Okay, we can start the clock. Now let's pause it. So if the clock is running, but 
we are not playing we should stop the clock so I start I click I pause continue again I pause continue again pretty cool right I love this function um, yeah we can make it interruptible I really love the um, the level of abstraction that uh, has been built in uh, react native reanimated I think we can do a really a lot of cool things with it and uh, yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video if you do please buy me a coffee and I will give you access to the private GitHub repository where I tinker with all these examples. And if you have a new React Native project coming up, I recommend you check out React Native Elements. It's a boilerplate for your new React Native project. It's 80% of what you need. A lot of beautiful UI components, boilerplate navigation, static analysis, and so on. You can test it on iOS using TestFlight or on Android with the Expo client. So guys, I'm looking forward to talk to you soon. And in the meantime, happy hacking.